Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Honestly, cannot remember a year where I had to make so many content videos on the first day you can actually play Madden 23. But it's not a bad thing. I do want to give a shout out to Nate Santana for being a part of the Naughty Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Naughty Gang. Also, guys, we do have the NFL season coming up and preseason currently going on. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. But let's talk about this All Madden kickoff promo. All right, so let's talk about the All Madden kickoff promo before I actually show you guys the players because I think this will make it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, I'm pretty sure the All Madden kickoff promo, though, is pretty much Legends, but they're titling it as the All Madden kickoff for the first week. So this promo is going to be coming out on Saturday, and again, I think... This is pretty much just Legends that they're titling as All Madden kickoff promo for some reason. There are 25 challenges that will be available. You can earn an out of position cornerback Randy Moss through those challenges. I'm going to go over that Randy Moss with you guys as well. And you can exchange any 28, 82 overall elite players to earn an 89 overall All Madden player. So these All Madden players definitely will be more so on the expensive side, and I really feel like 82 overall elites, uh, they're gonna shoot up in price a little bit when those sets come out. So I'd probably buy those cards ASAP. Now the All Madden team players who have a team chemistry bucket and the choice of any team they previously played for, so you can change their team chems, and they also have access to the new Legends team chemistry as a selectable option instead of a specific team cam. So that is why I think these are really just legends that are coming up this Saturday, branded as the All Madden kickoff. And then as you guys can see, when you get to five out of 50, you get plus one strength, 10 out of 50, plus one jumping, 15 out of 50, plus one agility, 20 out of 50, plus one excel, uh, 25 out of 50, plus one strength, 30 out of 50, jumping, 35 another agility and 40 to 50 another acceleration so now let's go ahead and get into these players that are going to be coming out on this saturday so we have sam mills 84 speed 87 acceleration 89 block shed 88 hit power 84 zone uh you know it's a middle linebacker and you guys know how i feel about middle linebackers and probably how you feel about middle linebackers as well if you've been playing madden they unfortunately so just do not animate uh maybe if sam mills had some crazy speed you know i could say maybe he's worth using because the block shed and everything but having only 84 he would have had to have like 86 for me to even consider picking up this card we also got bruce matthews with 90 strength 88 pass block he also has 87 run block going to be a very very good left guard to pick up warren sap at dt this card looks pretty good he's got 80 speed at defensive tackle 83 excel 88 strength 89 block shed 87 power move now we're also going to be getting a fullback with mike allstott which he does have 84 speed uh, he's got good run blocking at 77 84 strength 87 lead block 88 impact block I honestly would not be surprised, though, if you see a lot of people picking up this Mike Allstott and potentially running him at running back just because he's a huge running back. His price is going to be pretty expensive, though, given what you need uh, for the sets to get done. So we'll see. Maybe people will just go ahead and pick up Derrick Henry. Maybe they'll rock with Mike Allstott for fun. Bruce Smith. This card looks nasty. 83 speed on him, 86 acceleration at defensive end, 88 strength, 88 block shed, 89 power move, and 86 finesse move as well. I mean, if you pair this card with someone like the All Madden Edition Micah Parsons, that's just going to be insane in terms of a pass rush. So I absolutely love the Bruce Smith. We also are getting Tony Gonzalez. Now, here's the thing with Tony G we have the field pass in the game, and at the field pass level 51, you do get Dave Casper, who is insane and has 89 speed at tight end. So that makes things very interesting, given I have still really yet to see how long it's going to take to level up. 
So we'll kind of gauge that. I'm definitely going to be doing some testing like this afternoon before I make my video on the fastest way to level. Kind of seeing exactly how long it will take you to even level up. But Tony Gonzalez, 86 speed. That's awesome. 89 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 87 spec catch. Route running of 84 for short, 87 for medium, and 74 run blocking. Personally, I don't know why. I've just never really cared too much for Tony Gonzalez cards. This one, though, I think is a little bit different because he has 86 speed, but Dave Casper is 89. So, yeah, if you can get Dave Casper within a couple of weeks, I think you'll be able to get Dave Casper. Might just be better off saving your coins. Now, we also are getting Ronnie Lott with 86 speed, 84 acceleration, 86 tackling, 87 play rec, 88 pursuit, 87 man, 89 zone, and 89 hit power. Yeah, he's going to be really expensive. This is going to be a very, very expensive card to start off the year. Without a doubt, Ronnie Lott is going to be very, very expensive. Having that speed, that zone, even the man, and also the hit power, going to be a very sought-after card. Uh, we also have Joe Montana. Now, given we don't know what his release is just yet, but his release is probably pretty decent. 76 speed on him, 90 throw power. I believe that's the highest in the game. 88 short, 87 medium, and 85 deep with 85 throw on the run. Only an 82 throw under pressure, though. That may be kind of interesting to see exactly uh, how that goes. But Joe Montana, that is going to be a very, very accurate card. Lawrence Taylor, yeah, this is going to be crazy to pair, again, with Micah Parsons. If you have LT on one side, Micah on the other, GG. 85 speed. 84 excel 84 strength 87 block shed, 88 power move 85 finesse move and lawrence taylor is kind of in that category of players that are going to play well regardless of if other cards come out that are better than them or at least have better stats lawrence taylor is just kind of one of those cards that always plays well and you can use on your team for a very very long time so lt I definitely have to have this card. I think he's going to be pretty expensive and very, very nice. Randy Moss. Yes, we're getting Randy Moss week one. This is going to be just unfair. 87 speed, 88 jumping, 88 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch, 86, 87, and 90 deep route running on Randy Moss. Uh, without a doubt, the best wide receiver in the game. And I've seen people talking about one-on-ones wide receiver like aggressive catches being kind of really really good right now and as they did say in the blog you know a couple weeks back that height really matters with wide receivers so randy moss i'm telling you guys he's the fastest wide receiver in the game that i currently know of. i think 87 speed is the fastest 90 deep route running 90 spec catch and he's 6-4 randy's gonna be just insane and the final card to go over to guys is this cornerback, Randy Moss. And as I said, you actually get this card for free from playing solos. He's 6'4", of course, 85 speed, 85 excel, 88 zone, 86 press, and 83 man coverage. And once again, you guys can see everything that is involved with this promo. So that is the old Madden kickoff. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure this is just legends that they're branding as old Madden kickoff for the first week, pretty much. I don't think this is going to be like a multi-week thing from my knowledge. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Check out my other videos from today. And I'm going to have even more videos later today, including a bundle with a seriously insane pull. You do not want to miss out on that bundle. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.